Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ruby. And so today, I'm going to be showing you guys my entire wardrobe. Um, I mentioned in my last video, which is the try on to haul, that I am on the process of rebuilding or revamping my wardrobe. Um, top that I'm wearing it is like a sweater material, but it is 100% cotton It's a little bit see-through as you guys can see so I'm wearing a tank top underneath So this is my first essential on my closet that I'm going to be adding. This is a plain black um, kind of like a sweater material um, T-shirt or blouse which I can dress down or up. Okay, I'll show you the other black uh, shirt that I have this one is by Claude and Stone is a brand. I think it is anthropology brand. And this is a size is small. It has a very nice um, detail right here. It's like a curve, high and low um, hemline, which I really like. This is not like your typical tea kind of material. It is more probably more dressier than a, a regular t-shirt material, which I really like. Um, all of the items, unless it's mentioned, they're all thrifted. Okay, the next one is this Michael Stars white t-shirt, which I think you guys will see the, um, the styling video first. Before this one, I will put the card down up here maybe, or I put it, I'll put the link down below so you guys can also watch that. This is a Michael Stars uh, white t-shirt. It's just v-neck. Um, I also have another white t-shirt that uh, I have in the wash. It is a more a crew neck, kind of like this one. So I have this more a crew neck um, uh, kind of t-shirt and then I have two the RV neck nice plain white button down it is a little bit oversized and I'm excited to dress this up or dress this down or kind of style it and the back looks like this it is very very nice as far as the material goes it's a little bit stiff it's not your typical like really soft thin material this one is a little bit stiff the material is 100% tensile, lyocell. This is gonna be good like uh, throwing on top of a bikini if you're on a beach, on top of like a, a black dress that you know, when you wanna have an extra cover. So this is gonna be good. It's gonna be good pair with jeans, with shorts, with you know, basically with anything. So it is a basic or a staple for every woman's closet. Another one that I decided to add to my um, wardrobe is this rails. Um, button down but short sleeve and it has like pinstripe going on and this one has very like soft and drapey material this is gonna be perfect for like spring or summer pair of leggings even because it's quite long a uh, pair of shorts jean shorts and um, jeans you know something like that it is a size um, extra small but rails usually tend to run pretty big this one is something that I think is very like uh, nice and funky to have in a mom's wardrobe which is like a graphic t-shirt. This one says Easy Tiger and I, I don't know why I always gravitated towards this one. I actually thrifted this. I got it for like a dollar so I'm excited. This one is just more like for like dressing, dress down, going to the park maybe to the playground with my, my kids. Oh, I want to tell you guys um, some considerations that I had in mind uh, when I was building this um this wardrobe is first the practicality second my activities where do i go what do i do and um like uh, i gravitate towards more casual kind of clothing because i live in a countryside and i don't want to be like dressing up all the time and of course i'm a mom and most of the time i'm at home or shopping or uh, grocery shopping or thrifting or uh, at the park you know with the kids so this this wardrobe is a little bit more on the casual side and very uh, leading towards more very practical and more like easy to move around kind of wardrobe like I don't have anything that when I bend over I, I'm gonna be showing my behind or when I jump I'll be showing everything my hoo-ha and things like that so yeah this wardrobe is that that wardrobe that is more towards like a, a mom and always like you know on the go with a lot of activities going on and busy moms all right um i i decided to add some kind of like uh, florally or with color because as you guys can see my my team here is more neutral black and white gray and so I decided to to add a little bit of color to it, which is this one, perfect for the summertime. Um, this is by the brand Urban Romantics, and it has this thing going on right here. 
Um, so I, I like it. it has a very nice peplum kind of shape to it so if I wear it with like a pair of jeans it would be cute as well it has a very nice sleeves going on very flowy so this is gonna be probably my go-to top for the summertime all right every woman's closet should have at least one striped t-shirt or a blouse and so I added one which is this it's more like very sailor kind of vibe to it it's by j crew i i got this one for a dollar as well from the thrift store and um i got it brand new without tag so i'm really really happy about that it's a size is small i know some of you guys would probably like uh steer away from stripes especially uh, horizontal stripes because it tend to make you look a little bit wider than you actually are but i think if you if you pair it with the right kind of bottoms and um, you know how to play around with this type of print then I think it can look good and very chic every Parisian chic fashionista I think has this um, or have a a stripe kind of top on their wardrobe so i decided to add one well it's not like i don't have any i have plenty of like stripes because stripes is like my go-to type of of t or t-shirt or print and i just like um i don't really like busy kind of prints but i am more into stripes and florals so that's that um so yeah this one i can pair like with i can pair with like blue jean shorts or jeans or with white Top, uh, bottom which I have one here that I can show you guys later um, uh, that you will probably see so yeah this one is just another uh, nice addition to my closet all right so another top that I have here is this Vince Camuto uh, black another yes another black because black is definitely an essential for every woman's closet but this is just a Vince Camuto um, blouse right here it has a uh, see-through or chiffon sleeves which I really love I thrifted this um, just last week guys I'm so excited to finally find the perfect black uh, blouse for me this is for those um, situations where I want to dress up a little bit okay. so that's why I'm holding this skirt because I wanted to pair this top with this skirt I think that would look so cute together it is a midi skirt with a window pane and lots of pleats going on and has a really nice thick belt right here which is amazing with this top i think it would look so cute it's by the brand audi and andy and james all right so another skirt that i decided to add on my uh, closet is this free people maxi skirt for me it is a maxi skirt because i am short i am only five three sometimes five four i don't know maybe i shrink sometimes but um some doctors whenever they m measure me i'm five four and some would say i'm five three i just go along with five three so anyway this is by free people and also thrifted it has this two states right here which is really cute um I decided to add this onto my closet as well just to add a little bit more color and also it would be so cute paired with like tennis shoes white tennis shoes and white tee I think I added three dresses onto my wardrobe so the first one is this express um, vertical this is vertical right vertical stripe the pinstripe blue uh, midi dress buttons all the way down which is amazing it also has this tie at the waist it's a size medium which i i i think is perfect fit for me right now but i could also fit on a size small actually this top is a size small so it just depends on on the the clothing and their sizes some extra small actually fit me some small fit me some medium fit me so don't just look at size guys actually try them on because some clothes they have like they they varies on their sizing so don't just look like oh it's a size small it won't fit me because i'm a medium no try it on first because you you might be surprised it will fit you because there's like an extra small top that actually fit me so i'm really really um shocked when that happened anyway this one is i really love because it has like this two uh pockets <laughs> i am um, i am really loving dresses with pockets because uh, as a mom you guys know that you need your two two arms two hands you know to, to hold the kids and to carry the kids um, whenever you have to so uh, I always have my phone with me so I, I have to have at least another 
uh, way of storing my phone aside from my purse which you know pockets so I always want to have pockets on my dresses so this is very nice as you guys can see I would be wearing this a ton with white sneakers all right another dress that I decided to add into my closet is a black midi dress which also has slits going on right here this is just perfect for just you know any any day or night that you just want to put on something really quickly so yeah pair this with anything sandals sneakers or um anything flats if you want to dress it up i think you can even dress it up with a blazer or with um a little bit pointy heels or something like my i'm messing up my 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 brightness because of all the black thing going on but yeah so i decided to add that one all right i think you guys will probably see that that really is the color scheme here black and white and blue and a little bit of pop of color like this <laughs> um okay so i decided to add also this jumpsuit which is a bershka uh the brand is bershka it's very nice it has this crepe i think crepe is that what the material is but it's like very textured and it has this nice um going cut going on here it's actually very flat flattering but i would be wearing this with um white t-shirt underneath because i'm really not comfortable showing my armpit area yet <laughs> um maybe someday i'll be comfortable again but right now um i just want to hide them <laughs> this j crew stripe sweater which i already been wearing for uh fall and winter and i want to carry it on again on my closet my wardrobe essentials and yeah because it's just amazing it's i think 50 percent merino wool and 50 percent acrylic it's not itchy i don't like sweaters that are itchy guys i don't like them so i you know get rid got rid of a lot of my itchy sweaters all right another sweater that i've been wearing a lot which is i'm going to be still putting onto my this my wardrobe is this sweater right here it's by dkny dkny and it is a uh 52% polyester but it has 5% cashmere so that's why it's very soft and I really like this color for uh, fall and winter I've been wearing this a ton okay this one is just new that I recently got um, I think two or three weeks ago it is a kind of like a hoodie it's by the brand Ivory Ivory Ella I've seen this brand before like quite a lot uh, from resellers, um, Poshmark resellers, and I didn't think too much about it. I've I've actually found a lot of Ivory Ella on the thrift store that I'm thrifting, but I never like buy any of them because um, I haven't really sold any of them. So that's why this one I grabbed, but I decided to keep it for me because I I think every girl every girl every girl should have a nice pair of hoodie for just those days that you don't want to dress up you just want to like lounge around the house and all of that so this one i also been wearing a lot since i got it it is the it's by Lou and gray for loft it's the leopard print top my husband was actually surprised when i i bought this and showed it to him and he's like oh <laughs> why you know why I, for me it's just nice to add a little bit of print onto the wardrobe which is still subtle not very like crazy i think for me this print right here is very subtle and i can wear it with with anything that you know really like jean shorts jean uh, a pair of jeans dark wash white wash black and also i can wear it with with trousers as well as um joggers uh, i think that's my favorite way of wearing this with joggers so yeah this is another essential for me for sure all right so this one i just decided to add this morning um it is a floral top that is very loose and kind of flowy it is by the brand agnes and dora um, it's actually brand new for $52. I have this listed on my closet and someone was trying to buy it for $15. I just couldn't I couldn't let go of it for $15. So I just decided um, I'm going to bring it into my closet because this is going to be so cute. Pair with any kind of 
um, jeans. This is another thing that I want to add into my wardrobe. It's it's another J. Crew item, but also thrifted. Um, it has a really nice shoulder detail right here, ruffle, and I just recently got this from the thrift store um, together with this one. Might be from the same person, but anyway, I I love just a nice black sweater I can throw on and then just put a jacket on top of it nice cardigan I have this one by Kate Spade it has a little bit of pop-up color and you know to, to add just a little bit of pop color into my closet it has red orange thing going on right there and this is 100% cashmere which I really love all right another thing is this um, olive green trench coat. I recently just got this. I got this last week, last Saturday. It's another Michael Stars and it's a size extra small, which I'm actually surprised that it fits me because it's a size extra small. But I've had one um, beige anorak trench coat like this and it was from Forever 21 and I really love that one but um, I, I part ways with that like a long time ago when I decluttered all my Forever 21 items um, either I donated them or I resell them on Poshmark but anyway I'm, I'm really excited to find this one for I think two dollars and fifty cents and it is hundred percent linen so I'm excited this is gonna be good for uh, early spring you know which is a little bit it's a little bit kind of cold but not too cold anymore a blazer should be part of the basic or staple of every woman's closet so i decided to i want this one is a little bit more um baggy for me it's a size 12 petite so that's why um it's a little bit more oversized for me uh, but i like it i like how this one fits and it's just uh, another basic or staple for every woman's closet All right, this one is the, the jacket that I've been wearing for winter and it is by the brand Marmot. And also this is thrifted for I think $5. Another thing on my outerwear is this brown, um, nice, soft, got a, like a Sherpa line, but I'm pretty sure this is not really Sherpa. And yeah, it doesn't have a brand or anything because someone cut it out but I saw one exactly like this on Amazon and I think it was like around $70 so I'm actually happy I found this one for I think a dollar <laughs> so I've been wearing this a lot uh, for fall and winter all right another coat jacket duster like that I've been wearing a lot is this right here it I don't really know I think it's houndstooth print it's by the brand Carolina, uh, Carolina Bell if you are um, on the hunt for a really nice coat. This one is not very thick and not very heavy. So I wear this with a uh, wool sweater. That way I could still stay warm and fashionable. Um, I'm, I've been just wearing very, very basic top. Like even with this one and then I put on a trench coat and it looks so nice. It's a little bit of um, shoulder padding but just very little so um, it doesn't make me look too masculine or have a very nice chunky, you know, uh, shoulder. But yeah, it's, it's really cute with this outfit that I have on with this top. It's really cute. It just brings the, the outfit more chic and uh, fashionable even without trying you know <laughs> we're almost done guys I'm running out of um, my throat is starting to get dry from talking too much but I think we're almost done just a little bit more I'm gonna try to talk faster or I might just have to like show you guys the things and then ex explain but we'll see okay so there's another crunch coat that I recently got this one is by Zara this one is more spring um, staple I've never had a trench coat like this so I'm really excited when I found it it actually I paid up for this $15 I think but I'm just so excited to have this one because I've never had anything like this and it's by Zara which is usually expensive like a hundred to two hundred dollars if you buy them retail or brand new first one I have here is I think gonna be my my summer staple this is just a j gel uh, linen white trousers and 
everyone should have a white pair um, of jeans or trousers or shorts just to match with like with very busy print like this one the items I have now are mostly trousers I have probably like two pairs of jeans or three pairs I have three pairs of jeans here guys actually four including the one I'm wearing this one I have a light wash I have like a more medium kind of wash and then a dark wash and then I have a black one this one is a reformation jeans it is more like a straight leg I'm not too sure if I'm gonna keep this if it sells because I have it listed in my Poshmark closet if it sells then um, bye bye but if it's not it's mine uh, it's a size 28 it's a little bit snug around my waist so I'm not too sure if I should keep it and also another thing that I don't want or I don't like about it is the button flies I like zippers right this one I recently just added to my closet it is the uh, Topshop Moto high-waisted jeans and more like a jagging materials I, a material I really love this one guys actually it is very soft I had this listed on my Poshmark closet for a while and then none bought it so I'm like mine <laughs> one I didn't realize that I am actually gonna end up liking button fly <laughs> because of just the, the how the the jeans fit this one also ha has a button fly but it is American Eagle Outers and it is I think a vintage one by the tag right there is the vintage I had this listed on my Poshmark closet but then when I tried it on yesterday it's a size 8 by the way I fell in love with it so it's mine now it's just you know it's not too long it's not too short for me it's just perfect and it's going to be my summer pair of jeans for sure another bottom that we should or us girls or women should have always is a nice pair of fall or real leather pants this one is just a fall and it's by Kendall and Kylie it's a size small I have this I had this listed also took it down because I want to have this and I think I'll, I'm gonna enjoy having one I used to have one from H&M I think it was forever 21 but that's that was a long time ago that was the time when I was really into fashion and styling and you know of course if you had been following me or been subscribed to me for a while I kind of like stopped doing YouTube uh, fashion YouTube videos I went for like more vlogging type of videos or content but I decided to go back because that's really where my heart is that's why I started Poshmark to begin with because I really love clothes I don't think I'll be able to explain everything because it's, it's taking too long. I think I don't want the video to be so long. So I will just show you guys all of the the, the bottoms that I have on a video. And so I'll just um, you know run through them really quickly. So I have this uh, texture and thread. Kind of like a trouser. But a nice color. I want to add a little bit of color to my my closet um, I have a pair of Spanx right here so every woman should have leggings one that is for like lounging around and another one that's for like going out so it has to have some kind of details it doesn't have to be like just boring or plain it has to have a little bit of detail to it uh, so it can be like you know uh, people won't think that's just you're just wearing a pair of active wear or leggings because it has a little bit of, of detail um, I have two pairs of trousers one is but one is printed and then one is black and then I have jogger pants I always 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 get to have jogger pants I love wearing them they're very comfortable very um, easy to pair with anything and I have a culottes black pair of culottes have a more uh, relaxed fit kind of trouser which are, which is more casual I have had this for a long long time but I am really really loving it it's by Uniqlo I bought it at Uniqlo in um, Santa Monica I think when I went to visit my friend in California and we actually bought she bought one and I bought one too so <laughs> we are matchy matchy on that one to add one kind of like um, mini skirt but not too short onto my wardrobe and then I have another trouser which is more like a for formal occasion and it's by Ann Taylor it's six petite 
which um, I don't know if I'm really going to have like a special but I, I can dress it up and dress it down all right so every woman should have a nice pair of jean shorts I have this one by love and it's a little bit baggy I I'm really surprised because the last time I actually tried this on it was so tight and then when I tried on this morning it's very um, just it's nice and it's more relaxed fit that's what I want for for shorts and then I have another pair of shorts that is more like um, if you want to dress up a little bit while wearing shorts this one is by Sandro and it's a size 8 um, thrifted it last week and then I have another pair of shorts with, which is um, true religion this one I think I might have to uh, retire in the sale and find another pair but for now I'm keeping it Alright guys, now I'm sitting down because I've been standing up for a long time. So now I'm going to move on to the shoes that I am going to be having on my wardrobe. This wardrobe is going to be my uh, summer all the way to winter wardrobe. But I am still on the hunt for a nice Chelsea boots and nice warm boots. Uh, like fall and then another one for winter pair boots. Um, I'm waiting for them to have a sale and that's when I'm going to buy them. Or I'm going to go to the thrift store first and try to find uh those if i couldn't find them there then i'm gonna buy brand new um usually guys i i don't really like buying shoes that are used for for me just the this only thing that i won't be able to buy from a thrift store uh used shoes i always get to have like at least close to brand new pair okay so this one is um a really nice staple for every woman's closet a white pair of sneakers or uh, running shoes walking shoes you should have one that's very comfortable um, um, so white pair and then you should also have a black pair so I have this Adidas um, I forgot the cloud foam yeah cloud foam Adidas and I've had this for like a year already but I've just been keeping this inside my closet because I have another one I've been wearing pretty much almost every day that's already worn out so um, I decided to have this one out um, okay, so everyone should also have a nice pair of sandals or espadrilles. So I have this one that I recently got, got like, uh, I got it for Christmas. Actually, it's my uh, gift for me to me. Um, I decided to treat myself for a nice pair of espadrilles from Tory Burch. It was on sale, so not really, um, you know, too too guilty about that purchase. Another one, you should have a pointy flats. Like this it has pointy uh, toe flats um, the reason why I said that especially if you're short like me it elongates the legs actually it makes you look taller than you actually are also you should have a nice pair of flats just like this one regular this one is Vince Camuto uh, pair of flats I think this one I thrifted brand new so that's why I have that and another thing that I just recently add to my collection of shoes, <laughs> collection, <laughs> staple, shoe, shoe staple, is this Mules. And it's by Steve Madden. It has a nice slipper print. It is a size 7, which I'm surprised that actually that they fit me because I'm a size 6 to size 6 and a half. Um, so now I'm really, really excited that they fit me. So I'm keeping them. I'm not listing them on Poshmark. It's Padrills. I have this one that i have a video on is very beat up because as you guys can see i love this one so much and i think i'm gonna buy another pair um when they go on sale so it's a toy birch espadrilles it's like a kind of like a uh inspired chanel inspired espadrilles i didn't realize that until i saw the chanel one so i'm like oh <laughs> so yeah and then this one right here is another espadrille which is just a black espadrille it has a little bit of um stud going on and this i got so this is brand new i got from target i think last year i have not worn that one yet okay another pair you should have a nice pair of like spring summer boots so this one is like as perforated kind of designed to it so this is going to be perfect for like the spring and summer and i think another one that i have here i'm gonna show you guys is an is a nice pair of adidas 
this one right here now um, i've never worn this because it was a little bit uncomfortable that time but i think and also a little bit too big for me but now my feet kind of grew a little bit after giving birth to two kids so now i can fit on this um, so that's it that's it that's all the things those are all the things that i'm gonna be uh putting onto my wardrobe and those are my wardrobe essentials and i hope you got a little bit of idea from the things that i show you guys my throat is really hurting now from talking too much i've never talked this much in my life <laughs> so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video and this if this is any if this is helpful to you at all please thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next video bye